Canada's electricity grid is mostly green. It's about 80% no carbon or low carbon, but there is still some coal in the system and much of it is being transitioned over to natural gas, which has raised some criticisms about the fact that that still uh, produces about half the GHG emissions of coal. Well, clever engineers uh, are hard at work at this problem and NMAX has debuted a, a system that features a hybrid gas turbine plus batteries that reduces GHG emissions considerably. So we're going to talk to Lonnie Enns of NMAX about that. Welcome to the interview, Lonnie. Oh, thank you very much. Why don't you give us an, an overview of uh, this project, please? Yeah, I sure can. This is a really great project. This is a, you know, an innovative uh, technology. It really takes a, you know, a battery and, and ties it to an existing uh, natural gas facility. Uh, to you know to create that hybrid uh, so it allows us to uh, use the battery to start up uh, first uh, offer energy into the system and then it allows us to ramp up the generator after the fact and uh, uh, really allows us to create a, a hybrid very much like a hybrid car you know with the, this facility is always sitting there ready to go and as soon as uh, the uh, system operator asks us for, for energy we can ramp the battery on first and then turn the uh, uh, natural gas turbine on. The unique thing about this is we're, we're able to offer spinning reserve all of the time, 24 hours a day, because we're ready to go. This means that we don't have to run the hybrid uh, or the uh, gas turbine until it's actually needed. Traditionally, uh, natural gas turbines and, and coal facilities, they have to ramp up and be on idle uh, to offer spinning reserve. This means that they're always emitting uh, GHG. With the, with the battery tied to the natural gas facility, we're able to reduce our operations on that gas turbine by about 80%, but still offer a spinning reserve into the system. So we keep reliability up there, we keep uh, availability high, and we're able to reduce emissions. So what kind of batteries are we talking about here, Lonnie? Are we talking about lithium ion batteries and, and how what kind of duration have the batteries got? Yeah, so these are this is a, a 10 megawatt uh, battery. It's uh, made up of, a, you know, it's about 300,000 actually small lithium ion batteries are all put together uh, in different cell configurations. They're uh, last about, so 4.3 megawatt hours. So you'll, you'll get 20 minutes or so of uh, energy out of that uh, battery system, which is lots of time to start the uh, gas turbine up. Gas turbine can go from zero to full load in about 10 minutes. But of course, uh, people turn their light switch on and they want power instantly and the battery allows us to do the instantaneous uh, response. So are you going to be uh, implementing this at the Shepherd's uh, gas plant in Southeast Calgary? Yeah, the, uh, this is really for uh, peaking units. And so, so peaking units tend to be simple cycle, which are higher emitting type of natural gas facilities. They're still used or required for reliability, but. Uh, our base load Shepherd facility is, you know, uh, I always say this is a, it is one of the cleanest, it is the cleanest combined cycle, certainly in Alberta, the cleanest combined cycle in Canada, and uh, one of the cleanest uh, combined cycle generating facilities in North America. So it so, doesn't really uh, lend itself well to a battery. Right. Uh, so I understand that you're going to take, uh, reduce emissions by 45,000 tons per year. What kind of a reduction is that in percentage terms? Uh, and, well, it's about 80% reduction in uh, emissions from that one uh, gas turbine. And how many peaker plants are you uh, running? Uh, so we run, uh, there's three separate uh, gas turbines at the Crossfield facility. So we, we've, uh, this is the first implementation, you know, first implementation in Canada. So we're doing this at the uh, uh, unit one at Crossfield. And as we test this out and prove it out, we're going to uh, look at putting it on unit two and unit three. And now uh, I hear the debate all the time in places like California, you know, about gas and, and particularly about peaker plants. Is this a technology that could be, or I guess, in the, it's a, is it a, it's not a new technology, right? I mean, you basically engineered a solution using existing technologies, the, the turbine and, and the, the battery pack. Uh, but is this a, a combination, an idea that you think other utilities will pick up on? Yeah, absolutely. It actually was pioneered uh, by GE uh, and implemented in California initially. And they have uh, two installations there. 
So we adopted it. We're the first ones to adopt it here in Canada, but we really see this as being, uh, you know, as the forefront of energy, really trying to get those emissions down. If we can reduce our emissions at this one unit by 80%, any other uh, utility could also employ the same technology. And this is, this is a real game changer in the electricity industry. Well, Lonnie, uh, any final thoughts? Uh, anything we should have talked about that we haven't talked about? Uh, no, I, the other, th well, actually there is. Um, you know, one of the things that we really see is, uh, you know, working with the partnership with uh, Emissions Reductions Alberta and with GE, we're really, um, uh, we're really uh, training the, the workforce of the future here. We're really thinking forward and we're really being innovative and creative working with our partners. Uh, and I think this is really going to be the, uh, uh, the future of energy. Uh, uh, you know, we're really setting the table for the future of energy right here. Well, Lonnie, good luck with it. And thank you very much for this. Thank you.